Strong side. Dennis talked about side bottom on that angs that day, and that's a lovely kick. They've got to run hard into their forward 50 from upfield, Collingwood. That's uh, one thing they don't on tonight. He has kicked the first goal for Collingwood in a more important match than this in the replay of the grand final. That's a lovely kick. So Collingwood get the first mate. Vincent Boyd put his body in. Wellingham hit the pack hard, comes back to Liberatore, laid it down for Boyd, kicks towards half forwards and holding on. How about call it? It's a free kick to the dogs. Arms right round. At that centre bounce, the four Bulldogs forwards are all virtually pushing into their Collingwood defenders. I think they're determined almost to establish body contact, and that was the uh, the pushback in was really whether it was a free kick or not. He, initi he initiated the the contact from the front position. So directly in front, man on the mark is about 40 metres out. Higgins needs to convert here. Follow this one in. Just to regain the lead. Nice, sweet. Through the middle. Doesn't have many set shots. In fact, he's 0-0 from set shots so far this year. We get the first crack at him. So on the 50, it's high, it's long, it's straight. And the doggies have done well. They skip away. I reckon that their midfielders get goals tonight. We throw in one down by Wood. Goal sack lays it off side bottom. Thought about the snap. Goes to Shaw all the time in the world. Shaw and kicks the goal. What a good decision by side bottom. in dispute. Murphy held on to. Was unlucky not to get a free. Ironically, to Dowhouse and heavy traffic to Cooney. Cooney can't quite get the angle. Griffin, oh, well man. done. Gee, that's quality midfielder. Of the he compared him with the young Chris Judd. Griffin, and bang, that's a great goal. The doggies are barking. That's a bit of appreciation for the crowd. <laughs> they're, on the board, they're on the board, the pies in that area. Long ball in. Wellingham's in a good spot. And Dawes so strong, just gave off some blows. He's 0-4 from set shots this year. Not many from this close. There you go, straight through. So he's on the board there, and Collingwood bridge the margin. They get the first goal of the second team. Only as far as Beams. Beams the high ball back towards midfield. Coming hard was Cloak, misjudged the leap, though, spilt the mark. Wood's got plenty of toe, runs away, sends it long down towards full forward. This will be a lifter. Through it goes. Griffin, they're on here. Griffin now wishes a bounce. Jan Siracusa, will it be a goal? It is. Give it to Gian. He's kicked it, and the doggies skip away again. In that situation just now. There goes the kick inside the forward 50. Off hands at the back lake. Spots Boyd. It's in good hands, although Boyd coughed it up. Pendlebury back to goal. Feeds it to side bottom. Side bottom a snap. What a beauty. What a beauty by Steele side bottom. Against the flow. If they can get the last goal, Collingwood, that would be something, I think. It would give them a real fill-up. And at the same time, hurt their opponents. In goes Swan. Gets that goal I was talking about. Williams a high kick to half forward. Reaching over the top late. Now it's going to be a free kick to Dawes. Advantage is paid. Sinclair, that was clever, into the path of Reid. Collingwood will lead at half time. Maybe. Buckley, now Clark, hugs the boundary line with a kick and finds a teammate in Beams. Beams sends it long. About 25 metres out from goal, they compete. Murphy got a fist on it. Oh, well done. Comes to Sinclair. Tapping it down was Dawes. And that's a goal that stretches the margin to begin the second half. Yeah, very positive. Maccas are always pretty positive. So um, just keep going the way that we're going about it. And good one-on-one -on -one contest there. Yeah, it was, and John Syracuse did so Keep well, didn't he? he? got on the end of a Griffin kick earlier in the match. Now, these are so important. He hasn't been great from the set shots this year. Normally a very good kick, and he's got that one home. So the dogs needed it, and they closed the gap. He's got a couple doing his job. The most professional league in the world. So Sherman to Liberatore to Boyd. It opens up now. Boyd decides quickly to go to full forward. 
That's a free kick. Harry, you engaged him in a hold first. You see it, mate. Who no, 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 no. You take your eyes off the ball, you put your arms around him, it's a hold. Some really good ball movement from the back there, wasn't it? They were able to go up the corridor, as they did the previous time. As soon as the arms go around the body, that's the... Uh, that's a free kick every day of the week. That's the market for the umpire. Gee, this has been an important five minutes it for has. the dogs. I mean, you felt like Colin were going to overrun them at the start of this half, didn't you? He's only once kicked three goals against the Pies, and that was ten years ago, believe it or not, at the MCG. And I don't think he's got three... Oh, yes, he has! <laughs> He's got three he's tonight. Got the footy, kicks it down towards half forward. Sinclair did well a couple of times. Fended it across towards Buckley. But he's back to goal initially, Reed. Now he swings around. Long kick, about 20 metres out. Oh, what wow. a mark. Very acrobatic by Heath Shaw. And he'll go back and line up at his second. You've seen some good one on one body marks. He just the, he had him engaged, Griffin, but the same Jim and Syracuse did down the other end. The first of his last two goals, but that's a, that's a strong, good body use. Protect the drop of the footy, good hands. Well, if he gets it, he'll become their first multiple goal scorer. And regain the lead for the Magpies. The umpire goes a fair way, but it's good. Heath Shaw back in the side. Puts his side up by three points then, 52 to 49. Still with Sherman, that's a good kick inside. And uh, this guy's been so impressive. Wood Griffin running out of room. What a kick! It's a goal! Oh, he's a player. I reckon goal set. And then kicks to half forward. John Syracuse being held on to. Oh, is oh, it oh, the end. Mintz is playing <laughs> on. Great idea. And Higgins kicks the goal. The doggies are going well. Over the top of Dalhouse, got it to Pendlebury, hand passes to side bottom. He's been quiet since a wonderful start. Beams goes to Tuvi. Tuvi thought of the wing, down towards the pocket. That's nice. Goal sack on the lead. The Magpies had only kicked six more. Scoring goals has become a problem for them. They're right behind this one. That's a nice looking kick. It's a beauty. Tyson, goal sack gets his second. So the defenders. The guys with the reputations are kicking the goals for them. Yeah, the major break, it falls behind the Beams. Had a good night. Beams unloads towards half forward. Over the top late. Didn't get it going the way he wanted to. And as a result, a chance. The doors behind the pack. Now, there's a man on around the corner. He bypasses Sinclair. It's a live ball. It's running towards goal. Sinclair first back. And he puts a throw. Collingwood back in front. Good night for Ben Sinclair, Lynn. He's got the speed. I, I think he's the speed part of the, the Collingwood forward line. He hasn't been getting a lot of the ball to keep the cover. 23, short to side bottom. Coming up for 19. Drives it long. Wellingham, who was nabbed moments ago, runs to 55, goes with the long kick. Is it off target? Well, it doesn't matter. It's marked in the square by... He's had the, the body positioning outright. He's making a little point to the umpire. Cloak, though, oblivious to all of that, gets his first of the evening. Flipped out by Jones. Shakura. Buckley's had a terrific third quarter and eludes everybody. Dangerous kick, though. Suddenly a terrific third quarter doesn't look so good. Goals, Hargrave, but he wouldn't have had a lot of shots. He's 50 metres out. Does he get the journey? He does. He's kicked a really important goal. That was big. Lurking behind, comes away. Well, it falls short. It was intended for Addison. It was never going to make it. Cloak's got yeah. it. Cloak. Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? Robert Murphy knows it now. Marvellous kick. So Cloak again to full forward. Oh, Keith did well for Solo. Oh. Ducks and weaves and kicks a goal. And Colling would get away. Over the football side bottom, try to hack it out of there. Cross showed courage to go down low. Cooney feeds it back, brilliantly taken by Lake. Can he kick Gee. a goal? That is a magnificent kick by Lake. Oh, 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 oh. Puts it through. Oh. Well, if they need inspiration, it comes off the boot of number 36. Oh. Oh. Now, 
it's been a terrific night. That's a slow kick, not a good one. Sherman had to attack it. O'Brien did this, a free kick to Collingwood. And Harry may have punched the door. Across to Swan, sends a high ball down towards half forward. Austin got a fist on it. His intention was to knock it forward. It runs 40 metres behind. Pickin running out of space. Goes to Austin, almost out of bounds. Boundary umpire in perfect position. This is Cross. Addison, they've got to take a risk oh. now. That's not what they should have done. Taken by Wellingham, runs through and kicks the goal. Can you see Wood and Jolly playing in the same team? Uh, probably not, I suspect. They're both the big 200-centimetre ruck, ruck when they, they really need the Lee Brown type to be the backup. So Collingwood win in the end by 21 points. They win their third consecutive match. And maybe, maybe they're starting to roll. They'll be in the eight tonight.